we were students here, we received the scholarships ourselves. It was really helpful at the time for us. So we sort of made a vow that if we were in a position down the line to give back, that we would do so. And we started the fund um, two years ago. And unfortunately, when my husband died in 2005, he was a, a lifelong resident of North and had very strong feelings about the city, volunteered for a lot of activities helping North students. He had a very uh, strong ethic about the students in North and helping them. Just be thankful for people like yourself who care about students like us. Okay. No tears. <laughs> I didn't expect that. <laughs> I received a scholarship to travel to Guyana last summer, and I was able to conduct a biodiversity count, and I met wonderful individuals. I was able to become part of a community where I'm respected and where my thoughts and ideas are valued. Ever since my days in undergrad, I always knew I wanted to go to law school, and I also knew that I wanted to work at a big law firm after graduation. Here I am, three years later, saying that I will be going to Proskauer after I graduate. So my father, he's like, I'm sorry I let you down. Like, I can't work any longer. My health is deteriorating. I'm like, Dad, hold up. Like, you did everything that you could so a kid like me with a funny name from a concrete jungle can go on to change the world. And there's no reason for you to apologize. And on February 21st, I was able to at least put a smile on his face and let him know that his youngest son is going to Harvard Law School. Get accepted to Goldman Sachs undergraduate camp as a freshman, attain an internship as a freshman downtown North City Hall working in the mayor's office. And I got accepted to another program, Blackstone Future Diversity Leader Program. I received the all expense paid trip to go to Japan for spring break for nine days and immerse myself in Japanese culture. And I've been on the Dean's List um, three times throughout my trek at Rutgers North. There's a lot of students here who look just like me. I'm from humble beginnings, my family was poor. A lot of the students that, that matriculate in our programs come from very humble beginnings. Being an underprivileged minority, it was a tough struggle and it was a, a really long, tough journey. My parents came from the Dominican Republic. About 20 years ago, they've been working in factories, so it was always a struggle for my family to make ends meet. Unfortunately, I, we just couldn't afford a great college from high school. I knew that without some sort of help, there was no way I was gonna be able to go to law school. Many of our students taking multiple part-time jobs to pay the textbook, to pay the tuition bill, to pay the meal. They have all of the assets that are needed to be successful in college. They simply don't have the funds. As a result of that, we need more scholarships. It's the critical difference between a student succeeding and perhaps not even being able to attend college at all. Our neediest and best students are the beneficiaries of dedicated scholarships. And to say they're grateful is an understatement. I believe that life could have taken me in, in a much different um, direction. Coming here, I know every day that I, that I walk into class that Rutgers has really heightened my career trajectory and really heightened the potential of me. I don't have to focus on getting a full-time job to pay for my academics. It relieves a lot of stress for me and it's a great thing for my family and I. I was able to come to law school and just focus on my academics and doing well and really succeeding here. Ultimately, I, I hope to be able to start my own foundation and give back just as the donors and I think what they do in their shoes is, is really good for the community. It is a cycle that we're continually paying forward. They invest in us and we invest back in our community. And then soon enough, we come back to invest in the same programs that helped us become who we are. And now I'm excited to pay it forward. I want to say that I'm so grateful and I'm very thankful for this. I'm a living example of the types of opportunities that they can create. I appreciate just everything that you guys are doing. So thank you very much. You're not just supporting a student. You're supporting a student, a family, and a community. You're enabling the American dream to flourish, to transform our students into future leaders.